it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. Today we are going around savers and we're going to see what we can find to flip for a profit. I will stop along the way as I look up some of the items that I either pick up or don't pick up to show you some of the things that I got. And just as always, I miss things. And so let me know in the comments uh, if you notice that I've missed something. And there is an item in this thrifting trip that I pick up I end up getting it, but it is one of my trigger <laughs> love-hate relationship items to pick up because usually it brings a good profit, but every single transaction I've had with this item, the buyer has been very, I hate to say difficult, but there have been issues. They're very particular, I will say. So I have wisdom to impart, and <laughs> maybe you can share some too in the comments. As we're going along, uh, so I saw that um, Mickey Mouse votive candle. I couldn't find anything like it when I was looking it up. So if you have any keyword tips for me, I'd love to hear them. Because it was like a little votive tea light candle, but it was Mickey, a little metal Mickey holding up the, the light. You know, what do you call that? Cup. Anyway, so looking around here. Now you may see also that there are things in the cart you might have seen from another thrifting trip. This is the same trip but I had so much footage that I couldn't put it all into one video so I chunked it out so this is the second part of that if you see things like I say in my cart look at this isn't that awesome looks like a, a present little tea light holder I don't I think if it was a different color I might have gotten it but I, I didn't get that yeah some of these I, I know I've shown y'all before but uh, other stuff look at this it's like this stained glass candle holder, and then it's got this, like for a pillar candle. Isn't that gorgeous? It's beautiful. And then what do they want on it? Three, two, it's like three bucks or something like that? Yeah, three dollars. Gorgeous. And then I love that it had the, the hook so that you could pull it straight out. I love it. I love it. I know some of you all are um, hesitant to ship glass stuff, but there is a way. It's called lots of bubble wrap and pool noodles and 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 air pillows and and you're gonna have breakage it's gonna happen from time to time that was pretty cute and I kind of I always regret stuff later but then again I mean if you're anything like me if I put everything in the cart that I wanted to I'd be walking out with like $300 down every time so I'm trying to like really be particular about how much I'm picking up because I can only list so much, too. Like, I'm a one-woman show over here. Oh, glassware. What have you... What do you have for store in store for me today? If I can get my words out. I see that. That's a cool little... I don't know. Is it a planter or something? And then this vase. I didn't recognize the brand. Maybe y'all can holler at me if it was something I should have picked up. I learned so much from you guys, too. I know y'all Y'all will say y'all... You'll learn something. If you, I figure, feel like if you learn one new thing, you're doing great, you know. And I, I definitely learn something from the comments all the time. Let's see. These are pretty cool looking vases, I suppose. They're just unusual. I don't know the story behind them. Yeah, I kind of get lost in the clear glass and I gl glaze over because I'm not quite sure what to look for still. Nothing looking good in the basket area that I can see. So let's take it around the corner and see. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything basket-wise. I see a jewelry box here. You're going to see my finger in the camera for a minute because it just hangs out there for a bit. I love picking up jewelry boxes, trinket boxes. This one was awesome. Only they wanted like seven dollars for it. Yep, seven bucks. That really bites into the profit. Really. Look at my finger. I need my nails. Um. So yeah, I don't end up getting that because it was just a little bit more than I wanted to. If it was like three bucks or, like I say, I'm trying not to walk out. I mean, it's so easy to to spend a lot when you go in. I did get this, it's, and I got it for me, and it's sitting right over here to organize in my. You know, like my ring sizer and scissors, etc., etc. So I just like, well, that's a nice little office piece. Oh, we'll get that. Then, 
looking through here still haven't found my life is short lick the bowl sign I, I know I rue about it every every time I talk to you and I'm looking at signs still haven't found one trust me you'll, you'll see it on Instagram when I find one <laughs> caution enter if you dare I'm really trying to slow down and look because I know I get fat. I don't know if it's the ADHD in me or what. What is this? Okay, y'all, look at They're small, so it kind of looks like a tortilla press, but they're really small. Are they for, like, corn tortillas? What is it? I, I, I got these. I'm just like, these are so awesome. They are a press for something. Look at my stellar camera work. There's a cockfight on one, and then the other one I, I can't remember. What are they for? You think they're for tortillas? I'm reading your mind. <laughs> I asking a question. Um, I liked this little jewelry box. Oh, it was so small. Uh, and so I didn't get it. Oh, I just noticed that, that those are Mickey Mouse ears on that like little book stand. Darn it. I see stuff every time that I missed. Yep. I didn't even notice that those were Mickey Mouse ears on that. Looks like an expandable like bookshelf type of deal stand. Those little girls are amazing. <laughs> amazing looking. Look it, I'm looking right at it now, but I, I didn't notice it at the time, not a bit of it. Then, up here, look at this box. So this is a bamboo, and it's like a secret mystery box. I'm like, what is happening here? So you open the top, and then you've got to open, I'm trying to do it one-handed, look it. It's like a puzzle box, sort of, and it opens out like that. Isn't that fun? I think it's so awesome. And then it cubes back up, and camera work goes to yep yeah. and then this is a men's jewelry box like for tie tacks and tie bars okay boob shot that we would put but they wanted oh gosh how much do they want on that it was five bucks I was like there's no way I can't spend five bucks on that uh, <laughs> You'd think after all these years my camera work would, would start improving. I think it has. I think it has. If you go back and watch some of my really early ones, I can't because it's like <laughs> it's like riding a roller coaster. So I'm going to start picking up some trivets here in a second. And I like these letters. They were fun. I, I, I personally, I like some of this galvanized metal stuff. We have quite a bit in our schoolroom. But I couldn't find a, a reason to buy those. Oh, I do get these little metal... This is a trike, and then there's another one, like a, what's it called, a penny farthing? Is that what it's called? <laughs> one of the big wheel bikes? But that one is actually not, that one's like to go on the wall. It hangs on a wall. So I'm not sure I ended up getting that one, because I was like, oh, that's really limiting. So uh, I, I said I was about to start looking at trivets, but I am. And I don't end up getting them, and I'm really regretting it now, because I went back and looked up... Uh, I, I have sold many, many trivets in my day, but in, in the moment I was like, this is just kind of like, meh, um, that one is actually worth a lot. <laughs> so, And then this one, and I see another one just like it, I'm going to pick it up in a second, and I found solds for those as well. I'm like, darn it, what was I thinking? They wanted two bucks each on these trivets, and that was technically a pretty good price, so there's the, the mate for the other one. So this is that one that I passed on. Two of them sold for 25 bucks, And then the really long blue one, first of all, it was blue. So the killer killer color, right? It's an awesome color. My mom's kitchen is blue and white like that, that cobalt blue. Here's a white one that sold for 30 bucks, And then there was a black one that's going to pop up here that also sold for 30 bucks. So two bucks. For, and I probably could have asked more, honestly, for the blue one because it was amazing. But it was one of those things that I was like, um, I'm not really. And also with trivets, like, it can be hit or miss. Some of them sell for really well. Really, am I using my grammar correctly? Anyway, some of them sell great, and then some of them don't sell for quite as much. So usually when I'm, you know, scanning the trivets, I, like, try to find really unique, cool ones. But that was a miss on my part. I should have definitely gotten that longer blue one. And the pair of the others would have been a really good pickup as well. All right, looking through the scrapbook and out. I don't ever really dig through this stuff very often. Maybe I ought to, because I see some vintage like photo albums that look like they're still wrapped in cellophane. I wonder if those sell. I just, I haven't looked at those. Eh, I don't know. And then these look like they were for like a type of cri 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 cricket, cricket, what do you call it? You know, the 
You know what I'm talking about. It stamps out the die cuts. Then, sorry if you're hearing dinging. Somebody's coming in and out of the doors downstairs. What else have we here? Anything? I... Nope, nothing there. This is always a fun section for me. I love office supplies. Look, bookends. They didn't look like anything fancy schmancy. That looks like a cup holder for a, of a cactus. That's cool. I'm feeling like I'm surely missing something. I'm like, there's so much stuff jammed in here. I'm sure I'm missing it. Oh well, time to move on. And I, I think I went through the bags in the other video. So now, if you're one of my Mug Life peeps, I'm not going to go into too much detail on this video with these mugs. I'm probably going to take this section and because I have another mug video that I'm doing where I'm going to dive deep on some of these mugs. There are some here that I probably should have picked up. I do end up getting a couple, but like I say, I, I didn't, I'm try. I try to only grab a few things to do, um, a deeper dive on in these videos and I didn't choose the mugs on this one. But there are a couple here that we can talk about. There's this one right here I'm about to look at. Look at this blue meanie. Isn't he so cute? I This is one that I actually like, oh, I should have gotten that one, uh, but I didn't. And then there is a Harry Potter mug that I'm going to find in a sec. This New Orleans one, come on. Look at that. New Orleans Mojo. That's an awesome mug. The, unfortunately, the prices are a bit high. I always have my 20% off coupon. I take something to donate. That one did have a chip. So I didn't want to get it for that reason as well. Some of the cartoon characters I really like, you know, like if you see Far Side ones, if you see, let's see, usually I would say Garfield, but I noticed that Garfield ones aren't selling like they used to. This is a really pretty mug. And it's got the, um, the lid and the spoon are still there. So that's, that's really nice. This is a Boston mug and it looked like it was trying to be like the You Are Here type mugs from Starbucks. Travel mugs can be iffy. Look at that. I liked that mug, even though it was a Target one. I feel like it probably would have been an okay pickup. Now, this Harry Potter mug, there's no question about it. It's going in the cart, and it's coming home with me because I am a big Harry Potter nut. Wizarding World stuff. I really love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then there was a London travel mug up there. I'm going to pull it up in just a second. This is another one that... I feel like I probably should have gotten that I didn't get because um, again it was a buck fifty which you know I know some of y'all say oh I find really you know cheap mugs that I, I never unless I'm at a garage sale or at the bins like it's out of out, I never find them for less than a dollar when I'm thrifting anymore I just don't there is one thrift store I take that back there's one thrift store in the area that sells them for 50 or 75 cents yeah all their glassware stuff all right looking over here I thought these were pretty cool again like I just need to sit and like sit in the section with the plates and stuff and just look things up uh, as I've been thrifting lately I always have my kids with me so it's really it makes it a little more challenging, those of you who... Oh, I just noticed there's some uh, Ray Dunn up there. I missed those as well. Well, it looks like Halloween. Darn it. Um, but yeah, if you have to thrift with your kids, you know what I'm talking about. It's not always the easiest to spend a long time. Like, if I get an hour in the thrift store with my kids, that's like a really good day. <laughs> but I could easily spend multiple hours just like educating myself on things, which is fun. I, <laughs> I think it's fun. Anyway, uh, so yeah, yeah, that hasn't happened in a long time. I thought that was pretty interesting. Now then, what else have we got in here? I mean, I think that's one of the fun things about our job is that we get to learn new stuff all the time. There's like everything in the world to learn and we get to learn it through thrifting. I mean, how, how awesome is that? I see many, many things here that I would like to look up. Those are really cool, like decanters. The lids are not there, like the stoppers. I wonder if they sell without the stoppers. I guess you could get them separate. People are probably selling decanter stoppers. A solo mio, right? Now there are, look, this is like a little hobnail 
I don't know that it was for sure hobnail. I did get it. It has little cups, right? I think in the moment, see, the, and I don't think it's a creamer. I, I typed in creamer, but it was in a different shape. But they weren't selling for that much. But honestly, now thinking, looking back, like, well, it was for that and it was for the cups. So it was probably a pretty good pickup because that would make it like a dollar a piece. But I didn't. I didn't do it. Next time. <laughs> I say that. But, you know, y'all can fuss at me in the, in, the, in the comment section. These were little, again, votive light holders. I thought it was like a cranberry glass, but then you can see the seam. That, like, my grandmother loved that dark cranberry glass, like the deep, dark ones like that. But, um, yeah, you could see it was like a pressed glass with a seam. So, not going to get it. It might have still done okay. But, what else have we? That was pretty cool. It looked like uranium glass. You can kind of see the green tint to it. I didn't have a black light with me. Do you guys carry a black light with you at the thrift store? I have one, like a keychain one, but I, I don't, I don't have one on my keychain. Looking to see if that's uh, Le Creuset. And then it's got that big chip in the bottom of the enamel, so that kind of like, uh, that's a big turn off. Chips in the enamel. Looking over here, nothing striking my fancy. This is the thrift store where I found a beautiful handmade quilt. It had this embroidered eagle. It was gorgeous. Uh, so I'm always looking through the blankets and I, I found some nice crocheted and knitted blankets here as well. There's my finger. There it is. Everybody say la ti da. Get your finger down, Margaret. <laughs> You're not drinking the cup of tea. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I must have done something where I cut the rest of that part out. Looking at the lamps, every now and then I'll find like a cool lampshade or a lamp here. This was a neat kind of lampshade, but I feel like that's some Ikea lampshade. I could be wrong, but I felt like it might be. Then, I, lately the bags have been really sparse. Before the pandemic, this was like jam-packed all the time. But not so much anymore. So we are getting closer to the kids section. And I'm going to start looking at the plush. And there are some Squishmallows there. And these are ones, if you find Squishmallows, definitely look them up. Because depending on the size, depending on the character, they can be worth really good money so here they are hello squishmallows and stuff uh i didn't get there look there's this hamburger one it's not this one's not an actual squishmallow but i still feel like it was super cute i should have gotten it look at that smile love it a buck 99 i could have thrown that in the wash and i mean it's not gross or anything but i didn't i didn't get it but there's a dragon squishmallow here um, it's like a medium sized one. There's smaller and there's bigger. But here's just a sampling of some of the Squishmallow dragons. You know, different colors, different sizes, so you can expect different prices. Definitely worth a look out for those, for sure. So here we come upon our trigger item for, for me anyway, my love-hate relationship with selling American Girl dolls and Pleasant Company. Here is a baby see it I know it right away because I have sold a number of these uh, they're the bitty babies sometimes there's twins sometimes they're solo I freeze framed here because the back says pleasant company instead of American girl oh, I can't remember what year it is but after a certain year now they're American girl dolls so this is a bitty baby he's wearing a build -a bear shirt and I think I showed him in a haul video I feel I feel like maybe that's where we had to talk about this Six bucks, and I could probably sell him for 30 plus dollars, even though he's not in great shape. Now, the caveat with this is, like, I went back and forth about getting him, honestly, because every single American Girl doll or Pleasant Company sale that I have made, the buyer has found something to get a, upset about or get fresh. I don't even know if it's just a thing or what 
Uh, so I now I'm like, this is in awful condition. This is like, I way, way downplay like any positives at all. I'm like, this is definitely something you're going to need to clean up and it needs TLC. Like I overemphasize the flaws. Uh, so this one actually hasn't sold yet. But because I've had so many issues with buyers that buy American Girl dolls, I'm just like, okay, let's just get this out of the way <laughs> up front, okay? Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. I may, and because he's being kind of a slow seller, I think the last ones I did were the twins and they were African American. So, oh gosh. Um, <laughs> I'm sure there are other things. Y'all let me, leave, leave me a comment. Let me know. What is, oh, I just realized that guy. Oh no, I do look at him. What is another thing that the buyers tend to be very particular, persnickety? I don't know. I hate to say it negatively because like people know what they want and they want what they want. But I felt like I'm pretty good at describing the flaws and like making sure everything. So anyway. All right. So that toucan is a Jemmy Company uh, animated Christmas toucan. And I'm going to let him play for you here in a second. But I wanted to show you, keep an eye out for Jemmy Company stuff. It's spelled G-E-M-M-Y. And they make Christmas animated stuff. And they make Halloween and all kinds of things. So they're they're usually pretty good sellers. I'm going to let him uh, play here in a second so you can hear what he's singing. But I've already got him listed. That's mine with the super white background for $34.99. Here he comes. <laughs> And I do have a video of him in the listing. Uh, and so here I have a video up and that that's the link for it to show you how to put an, a video in your eBay listing. So I have him kind of in between the highest and lowest. Uh, and I, I think I'll be able to definitely get the price. He's still got the tags and everything. So off we go <laughs> to search for more things. Yeah, again, leave, leave me a comment if you know of another... Um, type of item that the, the buyers are usually really I feel like trading cards comics records I don't know <laughs> there, are, there are certain categories and certain items that's like is the profit going to be worth it <laughs> you know I don't know maybe everybody's got their thing maybe I don't know I can't think of anything that I'm that like hardcore about but I could be wrong maybe my trigger hasn't come up yet I don't know Ah, toys. Are you selling toys? Because they can be really, really fun. They're fun to like play around with too <laughs> when you're getting them ready. Toys and games and stuff. I do see here in a second a Fisher Price tape recorder, but I get excited for a second, but it's not the vintage one. It is the the newer one that actually you cannot put the tape in. So I was like, oh, bummer. But there are some vintage toys over there that I, I didn't look at. That circular one right there. I, I missed that totally. I think because I was blinded by this, thinking, yes, I haven't seen this forever. And then it's like, oh, this is like a fakey one. You can't even put a tape in it. Yeah, like, ugh, you're kidding me. Does not play real cassettes. Anyway, all right, y'all, leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about, about what we talked about today. And yeah, for sure. And I will definitely see you tomorrow. And if you're not already, go follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I like to keep up with everybody on those platforms. And I will see you on the next one. Bye, everybody.